Welcome back to Tales of the Dastria. We're still doing our holiday special. Sorry about the delay. Um, life got in the way, unfortunately. I am Dare Kitty, your narrator. And let's go around and introduce each other, starting with Luke on. Well, welcome back, folks. I am playing the character known as Morkin. I am Lord Lucan. And after a, a vacation, whoop, whoop, we're back. We're ready. Let's do this. Goat. Hello, I'm Goat. I am also back from vacation. And I will be playing the Hala Desta. Hello, my name is. What's my name in here? My name is Max, but I will be playing as the Change Lake known as Tina. Athena or Shadow? Uh, I guess I'll go next. Hello, I am Shadow, and I am going to be playing Blaze the Dragon. Yay. Athena. Cool. Yeah, I'm around. <laughs> so anyway, um, I am going to be playing the flying and singing and generally happy-go-lucky book, uh, Libra Vola. Um, and, you know, we're going to take it easy, kick back, and enjoy the game. And it's going to be an awesome time. And I uh, invite you all to join us. Cool. So last time we played, we were in Southern Changelon and the city of Otskar. Uh, who wants to recap? Uh, well, let's see. Was the last one? Sure, I'll do it. So basically, oh, yeah. we were in like this, like we were in this, like we were in thing and then there was a bunch of snowmen that attacked us and then we went outside and we discovered that we were in like a town but everybody was being attacked by mimics that looked like presents and then we fought a tree a, a, a living christmas tree <laughs> it was pretty good Yes. Uh, we were just sad that the soup was spilled. So much oh, food gone to waste. Poor soup. Yeah, Libra yeah. Vola. Speaking of which, was how many went, oh, uh, oh, French French did sweet. that? Well, some sacrifices have to be made when you're fighting killer snowmen. And mimic presents. Next is going to be Santa Claus. He's going to come down and beat your ass with it. Excellent yeah. Anyone else want to add anything? I mean, that's pretty accurate. Cool. So, no, that was really straightforward. Let's get back to it. You would also, just kill. Uh, DM, how many tokens of friendship do we get? Um, since there will be five tokens of everyone, get an additional five tokens of friendship. And if you use mana, you are at full mana. Okay, five. Cool. Sweet. And I need to put the Blaze the Dragon on the screen. Uh, oh. Do we not get six for six players or six people? Oh, yeah, there's six. Six tokens of friendship. Uh, Shut up very, your token friendly, board. very friendly friends. I'm just making observations here. I ain't uh, I ain't making any judgment calls. Okay. Okay. So you went ahead and you killed the the Christmas tree, and it it erupts <laughs> into flames and everything. And no suddenly, mercy. And suddenly, fire. 
must have been sitting out for a while pretty dry. Oh, he ended up being very short. I wanted him a little bit better. Oh. Okay. And she suddenly, um, why is he not doing, okay. Oh, I was that. actually kind of close with my guest on Santa Claus. And friend. so, and so all of a sudden, a green creature man explodes out of the tree and, and screams at you. What is that? I let me get my note. I forgot what exactly she was going to say. Calm down. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna calm down. Yeah. All right. Okay. He jumps out of the tree at you and screams, "You used to fear this night, but now you celebrate with light. I'll send things light right." with the darkest fright and then there's another explosion and he disappears now we have to worry about rhyming cool um seems like a good chance let's see roll times ah okay Uh, Whoa, who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. So, can we obtain any historical knowledge in regards to this creature? Yeah. So... So, so is there any do knowledge? You... So, would you like to roll for knowledge or ask one of the the um, people nearby? Well, is it a primal magic, spirit magic? Um, it would be just, uh, it would be historical creation. lore. Okay, historical lore. Anybody have that talent? I have cultural lore, but not historical. Oh, wait, cultural uh, lore. Yeah, it would be cultural lore. Oh, okay. I can try. I don't have... You can also just roll a mind if you wanted to. Oh, we can just roll a mind. Cool. Or you want me? You have... Um... You remember hearing tales of a, a legend of a creature that would come into this town and steal children from the night actually it was actually um you heard it when you were in the bar from, from the, the snowman? snowman yeah no the the bar in our discord group that no one goes to ah okay yeah tina abstains from drinking Oh, yes, I recall the drunk murmurings of a bar of this creature. That's where I recall from. What they, okay, so what did they say? In the Midnight Tavern, it was two old men had been talking about it, laughing over their drinks. So, what did you hear about what happens down south this time of year? One said, who wears the blue hat? About the kids, the other man asked. That's the one. They seem to get kidnapped by some kind of monster. Rumor is that he eats them. Too bad we're too retired. Well, here's to the younger generation to solve that. The old men, the old adventurers clink their glasses and take a sip. I mean, children are pretty tasty. Not that I would know about that. Why would you stay what? there in the first place? What? Why would you stay there in the first place? Um, I don't know. You haven't had it, why stay there? Because it seems like everything that's evil eats children. Uh, I don't know what to say about that. How does a tree eat children? It falls on them.
Why is nobody talking? Because I'm waiting for you guys to do something. What is the uh, um, objective? I'm gonna go. Right. What's, what's the objective? Uh, I mean, do we chase after him? Like, uh, is there um, a mayor? Is there somebody who gives us a, re a request? So uh, all the local enemies are vanquished. What is our next objective? I'm gonna well, go take a take a look at this tree and see if there's anything interesting like on it. I know it's hard. it's been like lit on fire, and I, I assume at this point it would burn itself out. Okay. Uh, the tree um, is still on fire. Should have asked like... me. Oh uh, yes, we should warm ourselves by the fire. Yeah, ha have the dragon go into the fire. Oh, there's and a dragon. In the... Yeah, I'm a dragon. Oh, um, there, kitty. That's it's yeah. good to meet you. I, I sent you a nice question. To meet you as well. Is that good? Uh, fortunately, Desta. Uh... <laughs> Stuff like that, you'd have if you wouldn't mind getting that to me before we start. Name is Blaze. I didn't. I just didn't realize this is where we were gonna hop into. Oh, though. Nice oh, okay. to meet you, Blaze. I guess. So. And jump into the fire. The fiery tree. Is there anything in the tree? Uh, if you would tree? like to. Is everyone done so I can speak? Yes. Right. Okay. So, if you would like to roll for um, a mine to investigate the tree, you could. Okay, I think I will do that. Well, I didn't. Because Tina's well. incredibly smart. Uh, you realize it is a tree. No, you don't. <laughs> Tina, you are convinced it is an alien. <laughs> from outer space, guys. I think I've seen that movie. Uh, so, guys, I've already identified Attack the of the Alien Trees. Uh, I've told you about that. Um, this is not a treant. It is just a uh, decoration came to life. That's all it is. It's not an actual treant. Okay. Oh, uh, well, that's good. So, as oh, you yeah. got, as everyone looks around and investigates. The townsfolk begin to come out from their houses and look around. Excellent. Let's go uh, see how the townsfolk are doing here. Go talk to a few of them. That sounds like a good plan, floating book. Uh, let's just head over here. Yeah, there we go. So a couple magic books and all that. I'm uh, just going to go over and ask, you know, how they're doing. Yeah, that was quite an interesting little attack. Do you uh, need anything else? As you're talking to them, um, they most, uh, sorry, you're talking to this magic book? Uh, yes, that's the one I'm addressing, although I suspect that the hall or other magic book could probably hear and respond if they wanted to. Magic book says, what was that? We've only heard stories of that. That's not supposed to happen. It's like the uh, wives' tale. I definitely would agree that that is certainly unusual, definitely outside the scope of being typical. Uh, I have no idea what it is. We were going to ask you uh, something about that, see if you knew anything. Uh, did you happen to see where they came from? I don't know. It happened so fast. But the legends of the Krampus were just supposed to like scare children into behaving for the um, for hearts warming. It wasn't actually supposed to be a real thing. Legend of the Krantmas. Hmm, I'm not sure if I've heard that one. He comes down from the mountains and will ruin Christmas for misbehaved children by stealing all their presents. Oh, interesting. And the evil ones he takes back to their cabin, to the... Sorry, the ones that be misbehave the most will be taken back to his cave in the in the woods and in, in the can mountains. 
Huh. So are any um, items missing or worse, any children? I'm a no, I don't have any kids, so I don't know. I'm just I mean, can both have to this. children? We did talk about that earlier with like You were talking thing. about both having children? Well, I, mean, I don't think mentioned the folks would, but the Hollas might um, be missing something like that. Uh, certainly, the presents have been destroyed. So whether or not those I mean, were actually, I, don't I mean, know, we I did don't... see what we did see one children. <laughs> yes, that children seem to be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, go over to this guy and I'm going to be like, "Hey, um, are there any children missing?" As you do that. Ahala comes up from the corner and says, Has anyone seen little Sally Hala? Yeah, she went Oh, well, there's an answer. Well, yeah, cool. she went into the bar. Probably should keep her a little bit closer to yourself. I'm not going to lie. That was when Cindy Lou Hala shows up. Um, <laughs> so, are there any packages or other um, items that are missing that you're aware of? Well, it seems like all their presents have either gone missing or were turned into the mimics. Ah. Uh, How does something yes. get turned into a mimic? Magic. Same way, same way a tree shows up in the yeah. taxes. <laughs> same way a hall of talks. Magic. Don't crush All right. Well, it seems we have quite the mystery then uh, as to where this creature came from and where it went. Uh, do you have any other resources that may be helpful? Um, someone who is deeply knowledgeable about these things, a library, maybe? No, we really don't have a library. We do have... Um, Tales from Word of Mouth. Huh. And then the first book also writes down all, has written down the, the history of the sit of the village. Oh, okay. Uh, perhaps we should talk to the first book then. Maybe do 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 Yeah, let me go back at this and see if she's still there or if she got a still or something. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, I want to go see if Sally is inside of this building. Uh, you would you like to roll for roll of mine to investigate, please? Just to see if a kid was there. Investigate the door. <laughs> oh. uh, you try to investigate, but you can't figure out how to look through the window. That's unfortunate. <laughs> opening, the door and going inside would be good. opening the door is too hard, and you can't. You try to investigate, but you can't figure out how to ask Desta to move out of the way of the door for you to enter. <laughs> So, you give up. I give up. Yeah. Well, no. You, um, you don't give up, but that is the result of the roll. Well, there's someone in front of the door. I guess I can't go in and investigate. Oh, shucks. <laughs> and I can just tap or move. Oh, it's more funny with the one. Or you could just turn around and say, Hey, kid, are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, kid, are you in there? <laughs> yeah, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Like, hey, be you. like, Hey, child, are you inside of this room? Wait, so there's no way to open the window and climb through the window? Uh, it would probably be better than trying to go through the door. 
I shall hunt this child down with my natural one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get an you, um, you can't. Are you sure you don't want any help looking for the child? <laughs> <sighs> I'll, I'll certainly help you. I mean, the kids should be able to respond if the kid's in there. So. Uh. <clears throat> Unless a child thinks hide and seek. Uh, so DM, is there a reply? Well, she rolled a one. Is someone else investigating or? Well, I'm, I'm gonna investigate. There are about three people trying to investigate this that are called okay, ones, I, I think. I'm sorry. I was having trouble figuring out who's, um, if you guys were just actually asking or joking around my bad both we're doing both yeah, yeah i'm looking for book one so i'm gonna be looking inside the building okay you look inside the building and you get no reply so uh, so there's no one in the building yep Oh, no child. Um, yeah, there's kidnapping. Sounds like uh, Krampus stole a child, Hala, from this village. Oh no! Where? So he lives in the cabin in the woods. How are we going to escape this crater, though? That was a cave. Oh, I thought it was an island. And it is well, a let's village. just go and find the first book so we can go and get information about this. Sounds good to me. Let's find this first book, and then we shall look for the child. Yeah, where does the first book person hang out? Okay. First book wanders over. Hello, first book. Oh, there's the first book. <laughs> Asking you, shall we see? Would you like to ask the first, the first book, book ever? Uh, greetings, first book. Uh, we seek the uh, missing Hala that was apparently stolen from this village. Can you point us in the direction of this uh, strange creature known as Krampus? Oh yes, he lives in the wood, in the kite, in the mountain up here. Follow me, and I'll show you how you can get there. Uh, just just to follow the first book. So, yeah, as well. If you go this way. If you leave through this path here, you will be led there. Okay, well, okay. I suppose. Well, um, following the first book then. Are there any supplies that you can give us before we leave? Just uh, break all the barrels. I like to ask before I start ransacking. <laughs> <laughs> you can take. I, I'd like to ask before ransacking the village that we just protected. If I recall, oh. the mimics had some. The mimics were present, so they should have something in them once they exploded. You can take that. Oh, okay. okay. Well, Quickly grab I the corpse we'll of our enemies. Grab that. Search the mimics. <laughs> Search the corpse of our enemy. Yes, yeah, let me go. Adventurers who actually did were very hesitant to loot the bodies. One of them had socks on them, so that's that's cool. <sighs> yes, yeah, very useful for books. Socks, you know. You can put socks in the book. 
Well, you certainly can, and if you, you know, give them to the house elf, it works out great. But is Dobby free? Hey. Is Dobby free <laughs> yeah. now? I mean, you could use them as bookmarks. Hey, I'm, yeah, I'm sure that his bookmarks get called sometimes. Okay. <clears throat> so, who wants to look through the packages? I will look um, at the two that I'm up next to here. Okay. I'll Athena. go find the, the bunch of them that I killed. Athena, you go ahead and... I met this one over here. You go ahead and you look inside the book and you find the gift of the Magi. Cool. It's it reading rainbow. Tana, please. Attacks, uh, attacks do magic damage and gives you plus one defense. All right. That's plus so one defense, magic one damage. Draw. Okay. She will. Cool. Who wants to go next? Um. Um, sure, I'll find, see what's in this one. Okay. Um, uh, do-do-do-do-do. Do you get Sandy Claws? Okay. The gauntlet that gives you, uh... That lets you do the Pierce Armor stunt for <coughs> one stunt point for one stamina point. Cool. Why are they stand? Why are they sandy though? It's a pun from Nightmare Before Christmas. <sighs> well, you leave them out in the dirt long enough. I'm there. All right. Anything else? Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Sorry. I'll go next. Okay. But there's still one more in the tree. Yeah. Well, go and go to the one in the tree. So. You we all get a. We all get a loot box. So which one? Okay. So which one are you doing? Um, mimic one. Okay. Um. Probably go to the side of it. You found Santa's belt. It gives you plus one defense. I even wear pants. You can still wear a belt. That seems useful. Yes, none of us wear pants. Okay. You can leave it if you don't want it. Yeah, and it's I making mean, me very uncomfortable. I'll put on the pants. Uh, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm putting it on. Better than getting cold. Cool. Anyone else? Hmm. Um, no, I've taken my thing. Desta, Lucan, Athena. Oh, no, Athena's already gone. I'm going to call upon my quirk of Harden. The celebrations of the holidays mean nothing to him. These are okay. all foreign <laughs> traditions. Wow. Cool. Hey, oh, do you want this? I do you want this? Present. Desta? I suppose I can have her look through okay. a box. Sweet. You open your oh, box. There's a box over here if you want. I'll move her wherever. I mean, there's a box in the tree. I'll go to the tree box, I suppose. Okay. Uh, you find Kevin's booby. You find Kevin's booby traps. It lets you add a form of dance. <laughs> Can I finish, please? 
It lets you add a form of damage to the attacks. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, and it was called Kevin's booby booby traps. You said. Yep. Okay, I'm adding it to inventory. Both my game one and my Google Doc one. Bet. And it adds a form of damage to an attack, right? Yeah. Gotcha. So you just have to say the type of damage before you attack. Gotcha. Gosh, that could be very useful. Cool. Anyone else? What would you like to do now? Well, um, hmm. probably, probably uh, we'll talk to my and after stealing a bunch of presents, I would like to get like, try to find tiny child so we can go, I don't know, go back to her parents. Hey, you're breaking up. I'm sorry. Uh, we have to go get, we have to go get the, the kid. We can't, we can't just leave them there. That wouldn't be very nice of us, you know? Won't be very quick. Uh, be right back. Okay. going to assume that you all want to move on or did you want to explore the town some more um is there any um, other uh, notable things going on in town or are we moving on to saving the child uh, nothing else is going on in the town Most people are trying to uh clean up and make sense of what happened some of them are feeling shock and confused Alright, let's go save a child. Okay then. Yeah, I'm going with him. I'd like to give a rousing speech before we depart. Go ahead. Uh, we will return with the child to bring back Christmas cheer to you guys. Or heartwarming Eve cheer to you. Uh, I will roll a charm. Roll that charm. <clears throat> It's not bad. Pe the people's spirits have been slightly left um, lifted by your um, cheer that you hear like "yay" from the crowd. Well, Morgan's just not in the mood. He's just not in the best <laughs> mood. He's like, yes, well, I'm yeah, it's kind of true. <laughs> okay. That's kind of true. Yeah. Cool. Okay, let's go save the child. You go through, and you walk, oh my God. and eventually you come up to Main danger tree. Okay. As you walk, you eventually come to a cave. Surrounded um, by gingerbread monsters and gingerbread men. And then there is also the familiar green creature that had come out of the kit, the tree earlier. Cool. 
Gingerbreads. Will you speak, Krampus? Mm, tasty. Or shall oh, we fight? So you Don't found my cave. Am I? He wants us out of the cave. Indeed. We want the child and we will leave you be. Leave me be and the child you shall see. Okay. Do we have Trust a guarantee? Trust the kid. You must, if you want to, if you want to save the, if you want to see the child, you must get past my creatures of, of, um, gingerbread Born. goodness. Oh, that doesn't sweet. rhyme. Sweet. You, you should have just you quickly thrown a, like, thrown one of them. <laughs> And then there would have been three. And then you could have rhymed. He, he leaves. He's upset. Ow. That's why he leaves. <laughs> I, I think I upset Krampus by pointing out his fly. Uh, All right, let's get to the pew pew. All right, roll initiative, I guess. Roll that initiative. That's and body, that is right? a body, unless you have the special skill initiative. Morgan got a six. Oh my god. Athena's got a two. Oh god. That's the uh, third time in a row. Well, yes, the system is cursed. Uh, it rolls ones to an, un an abnormal degree. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I was rolling ones all last time, so... Things got two. What makes this so weird is that all, all of us have a D12, yet we have the lowest. I know. Tana's got a one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you have a D8, and you, you, yeah, got, you got more than double us. Roll initiative, goat. We're fighting some gingerbread. We demand Krampus kills yeah, the child, and he's like, "Nope, kill my minions first. <laughs> oh, okay. I also insulted roll Krampus. Roll a body. A body. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Bubba. Bubba. Can I roll it, please? Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Hold all the bodies. Okay, we'll take the seven. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm having a little problem here. Yeah. Blaze is... Uh... <laughs> Oh, yes, that's time. right. Please run roll right. one. And then goat. But. Hmm. So, I guess it's time. Oh, I didn't click on my token, but I got a one on initiative. I'm sorry. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. And yeah, we've got a couple people tying for one. Anna and Blaze, do you want to? Oh, no, it's just me. <coughs> Be here. Right. I need to get my gingerbread monster. <coughs> I was just going to a gingerbread try to sting mage. some of them, debuff them before I fight them. Then... Remember, kids, you have to sting people before you fight them. Oops. Come on, kids. Let's let's go and sting our enemies first. Thank you. 
Stupid thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, why did it delete that? Sorry. Sweet. So we start with Desta. <coughs> oh, let's So I think I'm going to I suppose pull out my like bow and arrow and take the shot at them. Okay. And I will try out the Kevin's booby traps with it, I suppose. Okay. So let me get that archery style dice going. And then for the Kevin's booby traps, I suppose I'll use the same or I guess I'll use like a bludgeoning damage type if it hits. Okay. Ah, uh, so you're going to break bread? Who are you going for? Uh, this one? Okay, so you're going at the monster? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So you hit seven. Your bread mage. No, no, that's just a monster. Mm -hmm. And it hits. So. Okay. So you do. Two damage. Oh, what was the what's the damage roll for your archery? That was the archery <coughs> roll. Okay. I didn't know if your bow had a damage to it, so it does two damage. Oh. Yeah, because I rolled the body style, the body dice plus the archery style. So. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. It hit. Next, Morgan. Uh, you feel energy swarming through your body. Tina, uh, I will attempt a magical training to boost your... What? It works. Uh, I'll get an upgrade dice on your body. Is it me? Nice. Yes, Tina, you get an upgrade at body. Thank you. Good job. End of turn. Anything else? That's it. Cool. G gingerbread mages um, are going to throw fireballs at you. Mm. Wait, no, oh, I know sorry. who I'm targeting first. They're going to cast flaming weapons on their um, on the ginger on the monsters. It's like good game, guys. Good game. <laughs> so, let's see here. Six fireballs. Can you see that? All six of them used fireball. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of spell checks. 
No, they're just they're casting flaming weapons. Ah. On Still the gingerbread monsters. And next is the gingerbread. The did they did they pass? And they all fail. <laughs> That's probably a good thing. So Okay. Gingerbread monsters are at the ready and they are going to use um Broke offense. They are going to attack. So Okay. So this one. Oh my god. I should make these into groups. This one comes down here. And is going to attack Desta. No! This one. This one's going to attack Labor Vola. Uh oh. And it all. Defense. Does it hit? Defend yourself. I'm going to use. I'm going to oh, use. Oh no, this one's attacking Lee Bravola. Oh. Athena. Yes. Does it hit? I have no idea. Let's see here. Defend yourself, yeah. This is. I don't think so. Cool. Sweet. Okay. And then this one. Ah! Uh, this one attacks Desta. Does it hit? Um. Uh, no. Did you roll? Yeah, defend yourself. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it might hit. <laughs> oh, it didn't go through. I thought it did. Uh, give me a minute. Good uh, day to have those funny technical difficulties. Ooh, it's a tie. What happens to you? Let's roll. Let's roll again. Okay. Roll off. Go. Roll off. Oh, thick hide would apply here, wouldn't it? If thick it hide hits. helps when reducing damage. Right. Yeah, it's got to help okay. first, too. Let's like that. It hits. Yeah. Okay. And one damage. I will reduce that with the kite. Okay. Cool. I. I. I didn't put the flavor text in there. And the other two monsters are defending. Libra. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happened? I'm sorry, I had to go do Okay. That'll work. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Oh, my turn. Okay. I thought we were defending again. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, I am going to attempt a flamethrower, kind of a modified version of the fireball. Instead of one that just goes big boob, it explodes. I want to see if I can dismember one, or uh, take off the arm of one of those gingerbread monsters and uh, drop one of the mages while I'm at it. Okay. 
Wow, that's brutal. Yeah, well, you've got to cut up your cookies if you're going to devour them properly. Usually you take the heads first, but in this case, you know. Gotta uh, take the arm. All right. So anyway, assuming that's even possible, uh, twelve. <laughs> okay. That's so great. what's so you were still roll just rolling a body or? Um. It's magical. No, that was oh mind. Right? My bad. I found the wrong thing. Okay. Did it pass? Actually Are you rolling a spell or? Uh, yeah, that's supposed to be a spell, so it was a mind check. And uh, what was the training check. Yeah. And then that would be 13. Yeah. And then that would be the follow up for this magic training. Okay. Oh, ignore those. I'm confused as to what spell you're casting. Well, it's like I said, modified fireball. Okay. Um, basically, it's just a directed one. Instead of one giant mass of flame, it's more like a flamethrower, kind of a jet style. I, like I said, I don't know if that's possible, but that's the uh, objective. That would be flame, flame blast. blast. Yeah. That's a flame blast. Oh, I see. Do you have well, a spell? Like I said, I was inquiring whether that's an option or not, since I don't do you, have what that spells spell do you have? specifically. I don't have that one specifically. Well, if you don't have that spell, then you can um, then you can't cast it. Well, that's what I was was wondering. Yeah, uh, fireball would be fine here if I wasn't so close to the thing. So, where are you centering? Because if you have fireball, you have flame blast. You should, yeah. Because you have to have flame blast, then fire, flaming weapons, then fireball. I guess I probably do then. I only wrote down fireball. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm slightly confused. You have to confused. have the prereqs. You have to have the prereqs. Yeah, you have to have the prereqs to get that. Right. Okay. So let's add that on then as the prereq. Well. You only have how many spells do you have? Three. <laughs> well, then, if you have three, if you're only able to have three spells, then you wouldn't have had enough to get the prereqs. Well, then, what was I using last session? Uh, cheating. <laughs> <laughs> what was I using last session? You cheating. I don't know what you were using last session, but it wouldn't have been okay. technically oh. fireball because you're a level six mage, so. I mean, he can do Darn it. You, it's just focused, right? Like he'd be nothing but a fire mage. That's what I mean. He can do it. It's just, yeah. I mean, I think I just punch. need to add that spell onto there as the prerequisite that I would have should have already had listed because that would Let's make it all make sense. Because at level I, six, at level I should six, have you're spells supposed anyway. Have, you're supposed to have three spells, four spells, five spells. Six spells. You should have six spells. So technically, yeah, you could have that. You just need to add two more. The um, flaming weapons and fire blast to your thing. Flaming blast and flaming weapons. So expensive, okay. too. This is incredibly dangerous, by the way. It's a, it's a hard spell to cast. Uh, but I like fiery thing, which is bizarre because, you know... You, you, you know, if you you act cool. fire, you'll burn yourself. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem, but, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah, Stop right next to you is a fire-breathing dragon. Okay, well, we can simplify this and just use an arcane bolt targeted at the uh, joint. That work? Okay. All right, let's do that, then. Okay. I'll roll again. Here we go. I'm now curious 15. Now. Yes, that hits. Yeah. And it takes 12 damage. You know something? It is bloody. 
Yes, I will. Good job. Ray. Blood, 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 and death. From gingerbread. <laughs> not just Gin not gingerblood. Gingerblood. Ginger death. <laughs> Anything else you want to do, Libra? Um. Well, I don't think there's much else that I can do uh, at the moment. I might uh, try to jump over here, just kind of flying so that um, I get a little more tank between me and the enemies. Gotcha. Wait, why are you jumping behind me? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a tank pushes you forward. <laughs> I'm Here, be my shield. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, I go. Yes. Yeah. All right. I go forward, taking the place of the cowardly book. Courage, the okay. cowardly book. And I draw my sword. Okay. And swing. Okay. Um, so should I use weapon and shield style? Uh, it's up to you to decide what you want to use. Okay, I'm going to use that. Then. Because I am holding my shield. Okay, then. Five. Gingerbread monster. I, I don't hit shit. Oh, uh, gingerbread monster dodges. <clears throat> you will not have the cookie deliciousness today. You want to go and eat the cookie. I want to eat him. Well, then you eat the cookie. Tana, it is your turn. The tables have turned now and we're trying to eat them. Okay, would you like to try to eat the gingerbread monster? Uh, no, I'd like to shoot one of the mages with my bow. Okay. Arrow. Shoot one of the mages. That's both. I can shoot. Can I shoot twice or one times? I can shoot only once. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Tana. Yeah. I don't know what it's gonna do. Oof. And then body or something? Sorry, it's no. gonna do acrobatics. It you hit. You hit very well. Um, and then there's a body on top of the D6 for um Jesus, that's with an upgrade. No, you don't get, you get to do both. Yeah, you still hit. Oh, well then, it's only doing one damage, I guess. That's too bad. I'm sorry. It's okay. How did we decide to do damage again, DM? It adds the dice, right? <laughs> yeah, so wait, it would be... Uh, so she hit with a be... 17 and then add the dice, right? Yeah, so it would be 11 plus the 1, so you did 12 damage. Right. Then subtract their armor. Yep, that's that's yep. right. Yeah. They're mages, they don't have armor. <laughs> Squish. Uh -huh, you take twelve damage. Okay, you you the delicious cookie mages. Cookie mages. Cookie mages. Mages, cookie mages. Surrender or taste my venomous venomous fury. <laughs> Anything? Oh, you. Anything else? Uh, I told them to surrender. Uh, they are cookies. They did not comprehend. <laughs> I don't know. Out there, me, you hear me? Okay. Desta. 
You're up again. Um, but if a, if a changeling wants to morph, is that like an action or uh, like, does that, that take up would my be time? a major action? So it would take my turn. It would take your turn. That's completely fine. Uh, okay. Desta is just kind of looking at these things, these gingerbread monsters, and she's kind of like, you know, not happy about what's going on. From stealing children to kind of being in a corner with gingerbread mages and everything. So mm-hmm. she's going to morph into her. Uh, I'm gonna drag the token out of the map just to have there. Into her uh, zodal form. Okay. Hey, Athena, your mic's open. Oh. Oh, why did I delete that? Damn it. It, it. It's okay. I remember what the initiative was, so don't worry about it. It was 10. Yeah. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. Cool. So I'm going to try to snatch one of those little gingerbread mages. I'm going to try to grab it. Okay. If I can't. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Never mind. Because that was my major action. That's it. Yep. Okay. There you go. Got your stamina back there. Okay, cool. And Morkin. Yeah, I'm more. Uh, Blaze, you feel strength flowing through your veins, hopefully. Success, yes. Upgrade your dice, Blaze, as uh, you sense uh, energy flowing through your veins. Okay, so upgrade my body. Up your gr- upgrade your body one. Yep. Good job. End of turn. Great. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Gingerbread mages at the ready. Gingerbread mages are once again going to cast flaming weapons so that the gingerbread monsters now have flaming arms. Will it work? We do not know. Hopefully no. Nope. No. <laughs> Actually something horrible happens. <laughs> they need to do something else because they continuously fail. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Good, good, good. Got two to spin. I'm gonna spin them on you guys. Ah, still failed. But it's not opening a portal to the netherworld. <laughs> Actually, I could have. I should have done that. that you should awesome. have. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't. I was like, oh wait, more minions, more evil things coming through the portal. Uh, that'd be me uh, if, no, I, did, not if I reneged on my thing. Oh well. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll happen again. It will. Okay, gingerbread monsters. Um. Uh, go ahead and a swat at this one right here is going to swat at Blaze. With Don't its attack my limbs. new friend. What? I would, I said don't attack my new friend the ginger monster. Too late, it did. Yeah, it already, it's already doing it. Oh, it and you block me. it. Defense. Okay. Defense. Defense. This one right here is going to attack Desta. Again, with the massive limbs. 
All right, I will descend. Mess. No! Oh no! No goat! No. Uh, you know what? You can have another token of darkness because I'm gonna go ahead and use a token of friendship. That actually will give me a token of darkness. Oh my god. That's why I said go ahead and take one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re roll it. Re roll. Get another one. Damn you! I do not. Defense. <sighs> Gingerbread and monsters are angry. Defense. The other Cheat. two move closer to watch. Kinky. Libra, it is your turn. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Oh, right. Ooh, good mic. Someone got their mic back. Oh, well, yes. Mics are good. Um, so, yeah, let's fly up over here so we can actually get to a decent spot. And, you're... Uh, and I'm going to see if I can knock out uh, one of the Cute little gingerbread mages. Probably the one standing on the head of uh, with mo of the monster over there. I'm not sure okay. which number it is. Must be four, I guess. That's uh, um, six, but yeah. This there's one? six monsters? Oh, no, that's it's mage six. I was mage six. sitting on the head of monster number four. Oh, yeah. Anyway. I think we're all clear on that. And I was going to go ahead and uh, try using this other thing um, just for uh, amusement as much as anything, basically, this life steal ability. Ooh. Do it. Do it. Where did I put that sheet? To see if you have... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> Drain life, it's called. Yeah, I think that's a early level. Assuming I can, in fact, do that. I was just being a jerk. Go ahead. Okay. So, yes. I shall try and drain life on it. Um, Entropy spells going down the path of necromancy. Yeah. <laughs> Is it truly necromancy, necromancy if the creatures were never dead to begin with? Or never, you know, alive. Oh my god. It passes. It's very deep. That's a very deep question. Yes. Oh, that was your casting roll. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on, I'm moving. Penetrating. Yeah. <laughs> I am moving devices because I'm going to go outside like the like the child who has never had snow here and also simultaneously play this outside. <laughs> Sounds good. Have fun. It's an interesting Have choice in the snow. snow. Yeah, during life, yeah, they're just... It's just too cold to play outside. Okay. So, did you pass your test? Uh, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, roll a die six. Oh, Sweet. D six. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And they failed. The body did not pass. So, they take six damage. Hooray! Hooray! If I can get it to. Oh my god, seriously, why do you not want to do your thing? Congratulations. Anything else? Just returning to where I was earlier. You can't. You did two. You can't do two moves. Oh, my bad. Okay. So you're really on base's base? I head now. Nothing else is possible then. I'll just, yeah, be done. I'm just moving you so you aren't on top of Blaze. Oh, okay. 
Blaze, your turn. Oh, my turn. Right? Uh, I guess it's Orange Shield style again. And swing. Watch touch. It says touch. Ooh. That is a good that one. That body really helped me with that one. Which one's that one? Uh, it's going against uh, the gingerbread. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's almost my turn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, uh, it did. Oh, so it just died without me needing to roll for the sword and stuff. Oh. Oh, jeez. You can if you want to. It's just already dead with the. Between the, so the okay. hit, yeah, with the amount of hit it is, it's dead. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, it's dead. Cut in half. If you want to make it extra dead, you could, but it's not getting any deader. <laughs> it's getting deader. And gingerbread monster is down. Cut in half. I blaze the drink. Yay. Well done. Well done. Dead. Good job. Now it's the major's turn. Okay. Tenna, your turn. Yeah. It's been decent. Um, it's time for me to hit one of these guys with deck. I am going to hit this mage with this deck. Okay. It's the stick is a the stick is it's long because I have. Proficiency in those. Is that oh, a crit? Damn. That is a crit. Nice. Nice. Two handed fight. And I think the damage was 2d6. Okay. Tina and... smash. <laughs> Tina nice. smash. Did you want to do a stunt on that since it's a crit? Um, I'll do a double, double hit and then try to hit this other one as well. Okay, so you just need to spend the um, How the many stamina. Stamina is that? Uh, you'd have to look at the stunts. There's a stunt sheet. Mm -hmm. It's a couple stunts. It's so under quick links. Yeah, it's under quick links. Uh, quick links. Stunts. Yep. Quick. The dual strike. Dual strike. Dual where is strike. the quick? Where can I find quick links? Uh, so we'll look under um, uh, handouts, and then all the way on the bottom is the um, items. Thank you. You will look for stunts. So scuffle stunts. That's what it's called. can't see it. Are you talking about lightning attack? You make a second attack against an enemy uh, within range. Uh, let's see here. You must Quick links, there it. it is. Oh. oh, it's dual strike. Yeah, dual strike. Then six yeah, dual shines. strike so. is your attack is so strong it affects two targets. Um... They must be adjacent to you if you're using a melee weapon. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just going to damage. actually hit. Yeah. I'm going to hit this one first, and then I'm going to swing through and hit, hit this one. Okay. So is it the same damage? Um. Yeah. Wow, that's like 23 damage. And you take 20, uh, you take 3 points of stamina damage in reply. <laughs> For the stunt. Probably and worth it. they are both oh, dead. Yeah, totally worth. Totally worth. Totally they worth. both died? They Jeez. Both died. Well, one of them was damaged anyway. And you crit one of them. 
Go away, ginger Good job. people. Good job. They're dead. Tina smash. <laughs> Anything else, Des? Yes, uh, Tana? Um, I think I might turn to my original position now. You, you can't do another return. You yeah, can't do I'm another sure. move. You already did a move. Oh. Well, never mind then. Okay. That was good. That's alright, because I'm moving forward anyways. Des, uh... Alright, um... Can you beat killing two creatures in one hit, in one go? Probably not, because I believe I am level four. Oh, I'm also- I'm pretty sure we're all the same level. Yeah, you oh, should be level crap. four. It's just that I got extremely lucky. Desta, you should have been up to level five by now. Right. I've been missing games. That's the main reason why. I know that every game, every game you like level up, and since I've had to miss a lot of them because of Christmas time, I haven't had time to like come in here and play and level. Yeah, I know, but um, I think yeah. you missed a level you, actually. You, uh, yeah, your character should be level five right now. Yeah. Okay, I will amend that in a minute. I'm gonna. I'm Sorry. Gonna... It's okay. It's my bad. I will fix that in a minute. For right now, I'm going to... Let's see. Oh, God. There is no Old God. 20, please. There is only Zool. Oh, Zool. Sure please stop. Five times. I'm sure that she has. I thought that she was at least at level five already. Yeah. No. I, I believe I missed the session where we uh, had the spiders fighting. The last one I was there for was like the Turn little solo session that she, Just, uh, that she and Morgan kind of had. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is the fifth episode. I'd have to go back and look. I will kind of want to be Desta was four and last uh, last time she played so she would be five this time oh you just didn't level up yeah that makes sense okay 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 uh well for now I kind of want to try to let's see let me look at my morphed abilities real quick what to do I'd like to try to if roll twenty would stop. Stop no. no. Okay, I have averted crisis. Yeah. I don't know why roll twenty just does not like the tales of Equestria sheets. I cannot tell you why. Yeah, I think it's. I a don't know. Problem. But I'm gonna. Try to, I suppose, use archery style yet again. Okay. Um, my body trait is already applied to it, so I will attempt. And at the one I've been uh, aiming at, or no, they're dead. So the one back here, this fella. And that beats. one? Okay. Yeah. It hits. Dead. Yay. Cool. Anything else? Um, and I... No, I'll stay where I'm at. Okay, that's it. Morrigan. Just, uh, hopefully you feel energy flowing through your body as he attempts to cast another spell. Thank you Passes. so, man. Uh, goat, upgrade your, uh, 
Desta's body by one. Thank you very much. Cool. I've done so. Gingerbread mages, attack! And I'm going to spend a token of darkness. And all the remaining mages get their MPs back. Okay. Hey kids, do you know what time it is? Tool time. No? Okay. There. Um, did do. No, wait. We're going to wait on that one. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What I want to do. Gingerbread mages are going to go ahead and cast their flaming weapons spell. Come on, gingerbread mages. You can do it. We believe in you. No, they can't. <laughs> they're, they're trying to cast a too high level spell. That's what their problem is. Your problem. So they're, 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 they're reaching for the star, stars. That's what they're doing. All right. It has been fixed. They Just like the get. problem with these mages. They're trying to open a portal to uh, the Fade. That's what they're trying to do. Oh, geez. Okay. The mages failed. Gingerbread monsters, attack! Okay. So. I wonder if they will get crit this time. This guy. Let's hope not. I hope not. <laughs> this guy is going to attack Desta. No! A white I will defend. Don't forget your dice are upgraded. No. It's upgraded, but. Defense. Okay. And then these guys come back over here, blocking the path. Yep. And are going to attack uh, Tenna. Tenna, dodge. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just trying. I don't mean to be like holding it up. And Tenna dodges. Um, oh, yeah, I have. <laughs> I have armor anyway, so it probably wouldn't have been. Uh, no. And you the say other that one. It hits. <laughs> And the final one is again defending the um the hole, the entrance. Libra Vola Okay, well I guess we're just gonna stab one this time, nothing too exciting. Okay. Love it, hate over the knife and see if I can embed it in the head of <clears throat> mage number three. Wow, dang. Okay, that will be a telekinesis. Indeed. That works. Yeah, it seems like a pretty good one. That'll hit. All right. Well, that's a spell check, right? What does telekinesis do? Uh, telekinesis well, is just the um, 
It's just the regular skill telekinesis, right? Yes. Is it a spell? Okay, all right, cool. What's the second roll for? I don't know. A damage, I think. It's a knife, right? So it's a die three? Yeah, so this... Yes. Oh, that's right. You can actually roll a d3. Yeah. So it'd be 17 and... plus die 3. Right. Damage is always uh, added to the attack roll. Assuming that it hits. It hit. <sighs> this is fine. It's slash R. There you go. Yeah. No, I just yes. forgot the slash. <laughs> okay. And it is bloody. Okay. Progression. Yep. I'm just going to move over, you know, back here. <laughs> it's safe there. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Les. Please. Please, are you there? Shadow. Oh, uh, we can go by, I guess, if he's not there. Tana. Okay, so here's hoping I can one-shot another one of them. Uh, I think I'm going to go for... I'm going to jump on this, and then I'm going to try to hit these two mages. <laughs> it's time for you to go to... The bad person zone. <laughs> so you did what? Did it, did it roll? There. It's an attack. So 15. are you? So you're jumping on top of them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll me a jump, please, first. I have flight, so I guess I'll fly on there. Okay. Good job. Okay, cool. And you're attacking the mage or the monster? The mage. The mage. The mage on top. It hits. Oh my Solid. god. Damn. That's um, a hit. This mage is it's going a dead. to is not going to like that. It's a dead. GG. It, but it no more. Cool. Good job. Okay. Dusta, your turn. Okay. I'm going to... Shoot at um, this mage. That one there. It's still okay. alive. Yeah, it's still alive. Woof. Get wrecked, squishy mage. <laughs> oh, it dead. You hit it. It's not dead. It's just got hit. Okay. Congrats. It hit. Anything uh, else, Desta? That's it for now. Morgan. Uh, energy is focused between his horns as he launches a jumping arcane lance. He's not going to jump it, though. He's not going to spend the mana. Uh, targeting the mage that is damaged. This one right here. Yeah, what's that? What's that? What's that? 
<clears throat> it lands and it hits. It's it's bloody. I think it's a die six. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is penetrating. It dead. Squish. Squish. Uh, end of turn. Or crunched. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that's it. Nope. I'm done. So it's Gingerbread mages. The remaining two. We're gonna try to rip that hole open in the universe. That will work. They critted. And you can't crit on spells, so something else happens. If they want to. You can. There's a, There's a what? There's spell stunts. Yep, they can do something else. Always love loyalty. Uh, don't mind that. Yeah. It's. I can't actually go through edit stuff without it deciding to put it in chat, so I guess I have to wait till much later to fix things. They could attempt to do a spell lance. Oh, no. no, they wanted to do. Was it mighty spell? <laughs> okay, they're gonna do. Um. Hmm. Okay, they're going to each spend two. <laughs> They're going to make this a mighty spell so that the flaming weapons in like oh, <clears throat> We're going to explode that. Do we want to explode it or do we want to? I mean, it's a it's a defensive spell, so I don't know if you would want to explode it. Right? <laughs> because getting a higher dice, time. yeah, getting a higher dice doesn't necessarily mean anything. Like, if you could make it cheaper, like the spell costs cheaper, maybe. They're going, to do like the skillful, they're going to do skillful casting. Oh, no. Do. Okay. Charts upon charts upon charts. They're going to go ahead and do the um, skillful casting on these. So to reduce that. Okay, and now the remaining monsters have flaming arm. Um, this monster and this monster now have flaming weapons for their arms. 
Cool. Gingerbread monsters attack. Okay. Massive limbs is going at Blaze. I believe that's a crit. It is a crit. You want to upgrade it? Yeah, I'm going to explode that. Yeah. <laughs> Blaze, you still with us? Blaze. I think he's AFK. Okay. Or DC'd one or the other. I don't know if he's in the chat. Oh. Yeah, he's in the chat okay. still. I don't know. Okay. So we'll just. Shadow has a turn and he has to defend against a crit. Yeah. Crit of six. I'll just go with that. Sorry, Desta. I'm going to go for you then since he's not here. Sorry, Blaze. That's fine. What about me? I don't know where you are. Oh, you're right underneath Literally on me. top, yeah. Literally on top. Oh, okay. I'm going to hit you then. Tana. Uh, what? Defend I'm... yourself. Oh, okay. I'm attacking you now. Okay, so... What do I do? I roll all of my body. Up, right? Roll your body. Do not. Roll higher than a six. Otherwise, I think this is going to hurt. <laughs> Ooh. <sighs> so then you do the flim. Um, okay. So. So, uh, natural it's attack plus fire fire damage. Yeah. Fire damage, and then you're going to be knocked prone. What's the damage total? Uh, damage is three damage, and you're knocked prone. Okay, that's not really all that bad. Uh, is that with Flaming reduction? Is that taking up a reduction? That is not taking in reduction. I take one damage. Sounds good. Man, flaming weapons suck. I thought it was a die six added. I did add a die six. I rolled another six. So she rolled a five, so and I rolled a six. So yeah, five hit. minus one and then plus the two from the Six damage from the D six. What's this natural attack? It's just a brawling, so we just go um It's in a die three for minus natural Oh I didn't attacks. do that. Yeah. I didn't do the natural attack. My bad. You just want to cause more damage. No, okay, I just so want it to be fair. <laughs> it's five. I was like, if players are doing uh, weapon damage, monsters should do weapon damage, too. Sounds good. Yeah. So is that more damage to me? Yeah, two more points. So instead of doing three damage, still it one. did five. Sounds good. Oh. Well, yeah, that's still one. Two. Gingerbread monster two is going to attack you, Desta. And that's a three. And that's a three. Roll off. Roll again. Wow. Woo. You definitely dodged the second time. Good job. And the other one is is still guarding. Libra. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's uh, go over here and um, bite the gingerbread man, ginger, gingerbread man on the head. Okay. I'll just roll a body here. Oh, well, that's not good. So roll <laughs> off. What is this? 
but okay. Roll Let's try off. that again. Yeah. <laughs> Roll off. <laughs> no, no, it's a crit. It's a crit. I got a crit. Yep. So I'm gonna explode that crit. Okay. All right. Still roll off. My, yeah. Roll again. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're slowly working our way up here. Yeah. <laughs> working our way up to Yay. what? You oh, hit. Yeah. Yay. I feel like three enemy has left, so that's probably good. How much damage does a book bite do? <laughs> so that'd be a D3. Yeah. The three, okay. All natural attacks are die three. It's bucking. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, good damage. Seven plus three. Ten damage. Okay. So with no teeth, I'm curious, uh, Athena, how does a book bite and crunch a gingerbread man? Tell me how this works. Easy, paper what? cuts. <laughs> <laughs> Death by a thousand cuts. Um, or, alternately, since the book actually has a little lock on it, you just use that as a giant single tooth, and then uh, that can hit and go through things. Weird. It works. It works. It did damage, so. <laughs> Anything else, Athena? Uh, can I let go? No, I already moved, so. Nope, we're, we're here. Okay. Shadow, this is going to be you hilarious. Yet. Shadow? Shadow, Bueller. you have a turn. We're going to skip you again. Bueller. You want to add them on this one? The what? Should I add them on Discord? They're already on Discord. Yep, they're there. They're just not replying. Or they're... AFK. I think they're AFK. Okay, okay skipping you. Tenna! Well, it's time to bust some heads. Sounds good. Some ginger heads, if you will. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm going to attack this large one. Actually, no, I think I'll continue attacking the mages. Okay. Which mage are you attacking? Uh, the top one. Oh, that sucked. Oh, oof. Oof. Wait, it should be six. It's three. One, three. <laughs> it still hits. Oh man, it hits. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> wow. Minimal <laughs> effort. Tina's just like, oh, I'll probably die if I breathe on it or something. So which one are you attacking? The top one. The top gingerbread mage. Oh, the one that um, Libra had just attacked? Yeah. Okay, cool. So... It is so close. So very close. <laughs> it is so bloody. Milk is... It just cannot hold any more milk. You have this very soggy cookie there. Desta. Oh, sorry, um, Tana, did you want to do anything else? My bad. Um, I don't Let's think decide. so. No. Okay. Desta. Uh, I will take a shot at the one, I guess, Leaper Volo is attacking. Okay. Well, Libravol is, like, directly on top of it. Oh, well then, I'll switch to that one, then. That sounds good. Yeah, so I got seven. Unless you wanted to hit Libravola. No, I do not. <laughs> Only on ones. Only on ones. 
It hits. Yeah. And so that takes five damage. Uh, don't forget your dice. Do you have it added? Uh, the body dice is already added to that. But you still have a weapon damage. Oh, okay. So um, it's a die four or die six, I don't remember. It's... Does it match, like, the special skill you have? It's no, it's for bow. your weapon. Yeah. What kind uh, of... Are you just using a regular bow and arrow? I am using... Let me see. I will check my equipment. I'm using a longbow. 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 Longbow does... D6. 1d6 damage. Solid. Ah, so it is a d6. Alright, I will add that macro later. So there's an additional 2. Okay. Still not bloody. Almost there, though. Anything else, Desta? Uh, that's all for now. Trying to be sure to get damage on that one, too. Oh, Ripley, stop. Okay. Sorry, Wibbly wants to hold my hand, but he's calling me at the same time. Orkin. An arcane lance protrudes for oh, and crits. Nice. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. That's a die six. It stabs him in the face. Who are you? Who are you hitting? Uh, the poor bastard. Everybody else is targeting. <laughs> Which this one? Yeah, everybody else is targeting that one. Yeah. Okay. And there's Those a other ones you'd hit Labor Bola. Dunt. I believe with Labor Arcane Bola. Lance. Oh, I think he hit. Mm. You, you, you hit. He dead. Give me a second. Let's see what Arcane Lance stunts can do. Uh, if it's Arcane Lance is a scuffle, so you'd use regular scuffle stunts. Uh, you can cast a spell after hitting a foe with Arcane Lance. The stunt costs three. Uh, do I want to cast a spell? No, I'm good. I don't want to do a scuffle. I'm good for now. That's good. That's it. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that's it. I'm done. Gingerbread Mage. This one's like here... This one that's on top, that's on his Labor Bola, since he's the last of his, he's going to grab Labor Bola. He's going to um, jump on top of Labor Bola. Or climb on. Yeah, he's going to climb on top of Labor Bola. Neighborville, are you going to let him climb on top of you? Yes. Athena? Mm -hmm. Are you going to let him climb mm -hmm. on top of you? I don't think that sounds like a great idea, but... Let's see if we can avoid it. Okay. And I'm going to explode it. <laughs> It's a good attempt. Okay. And he is not able to climb on top of Labor Vola. Yay. Yay. Why would he want to climb on top of him? Because he was and going to try to... And how did he fail to do so? Because he was going to try to... Because he was going to try to fly, use Labor Vola as a flying thing. Like Never mind, that's pretty carpet. that's pretty smart. And so uh that's his move. He's now going to punch Labor Vola. <laughs> Defend yourself. <laughs> oh that's a hell of a tie off. Try that again. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, Labor Vola gets punched. That's I win. Crit. A crit. 
can I do with the Well I'll upgrade the dice, that's wrong. And then see if there's a stunt move you want. I wanna check on the stunt move. By the way, it is very impressive. itself. Okay, he's going to do mighty blow with his fist. Why is he trying to punch us? Because he has hands, he can punch. Okay, so he does six damage. So six plus the four, he does ten damage to Labor Vola. Woof. Jeez. And now he dead because he used his last of his strength to punch Libravola. Damn, he killed himself okay. punching you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the punch is kind of funny that way. He's like, yeah. that's a spite. That's a spite kill. <laughs> I win because he punched me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but you take ten damage. Well, yeah. I'm not dead, and he is, so yeah. <laughs> it's a moral victory. <laughs> Do your worst, monster. Okay. Don't forget to mark your damage. Yep, I'm working on it. Cool. Okay, and then the gingerbread monsters. This guy. Shadow, are you back yet? Shadow is still AFK, I think. I'm going to take your silences now. Huh? Oh, welcome Shadow? back. You've got two turns. Uh, uh, it felt like I was the dragon there for a second. I mm. see what you did there. I see what you did there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Well, what you doing, Blaze? Gonna move forward and swing at the uh, gingerbread. You're taking your sword and swinging it at the. Are you doing that twice? I can't hear you, Shadow. Oh, I was gonna go and swing it at the uh, gingerbread monster. Which gingerbread and monster? I... Uh. Okay. Yeah, swing it at. I think one at that one, and then I'll swing the other one at the other one. Thing as I had two apparently. Okay. Yeah, might as well try. Okay. It's a hit. Yep, it's a hit. Roll damage. Damn. Die six. Okay, and this one right here is dead. The other one, if you want to swing at it, you'd have to hit, you're going to hit Desta. Oh, I... So you need, you would need to move. I mean, I guess I could just swing at the same one then. As... Well, you can move your character. That's true. It's just that Desta's in your way, so you wouldn't be able to hit the monster. Yeah. Maybe I could go past and hit the one at the back. Okay. You still need to move your character, though. There you go. Yep. Good job. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I think it. that's a hit. Oh, that was six. <laughs> yep, that's a hit. Oh, wait. I'm going to explode that. How much longer do you think this is going to go for? Oh, we can end it after this battle if you want to. Um, I mean, I would like to kind of... How much of the story is left? We'd have the boss battle after this one. Uh... Okay. I think this uh, is oh, wait, 20 this in total. A solid blow. Using a two handed weapon? Uh, I am. Am I using a two handed weapon? No, I'm asking if Shadow is. Uh, I thought you had a sword and board. I don't think so, no. So isn't that a die six? Uh, two die six? What's a one handed weapon? Or is there like a specialty that upgrades your weapons? Um, I was just a sword. Isn't that just a die six? Uh, uh it's a uh, long sword. That's two die six, yeah. Heavy blades. Heavy oh, that's group. a heavy blade? Yep. Oh, when I looked at it, it didn't say heavy blade. So I'm like, oh, it's Since these one-hoofed blades are also known as broadswords or simply swords, it is 2d6. Oh, right, then so just change this one to a d6. Then. No, no, it's, it is 2d6. You are correct. Okay. I am incorrect. I thought it was a die 6 for some reason. Just all heavy blades. Heavy. Dead. Oops. Like that. Okay. Well, this guy is dead. He is dead. Good job. Okay. And that leaves this guy right here. Anything else you want to do, Blaze? And uh, no, I have no. Okay. It's 2d6. And this guy's going to attack the Bravola. And he has his blazing hands again. He's on fire. He is. Yeah, he's cooking. Okay. Brother Cookie's on fire. It's gonna be a little charred. You might not want to eat that one. And 3d6? Holy crap, okay. Good, you had missed it. Okay. Libra, it's your turn. Alright, well, let's see who we still got here. That one's down, that one. It's just, like, um, literally this last monster right here. Yeah, looks like. Okay. So... <clears throat> Yeah, I, w I really wish I did have, like, a, a glass of milk here. Uh, be a perfect way to finish this. Uh, I mean, you can oh, spend well. a friendship token to get a glass of milk. You could. If that's something that you wish to do. <laughs> or did you uh, have that's the foresight to milk the cow before you came here? <laughs> well, you just stop by one of the houses and grab some milk and throw it at the cookie. But unfortunately, we didn't know we were fighting cookies, so that would have uh, would have been just perfect. 
Is it worth the token of friendship? Is it? Is it? I think it is, honestly. To finish off a monster by uh, a cooking monster by drowning it in milk. Okay. Uh, oh my eye. Spin the yeah, token. I think that it is. Oh my god. Now, are you Dinner. just asking for a cup of milk or enough milk to drown this monster? Well, enough milk to drown the monster would be ideal. It depends on how much it's going to cost. A cup of a glass of milk would be one token. Since this monster is three times the size of you, that I would have to say would be a very large amount of milk. So I'd say three tokens. Three tokens. Uh, oh, that is pricey. Not worth. But you get to go and kill a cookie, and it's worth nine. It would be an auto death, though. You're a monster. <laughs> uh, I'm not the monster the you are. Are I'm not the monster here. You are. Is this yes. guy's at like uh, full health here? Okay. You know what? Let's let's auto death this thing with milk. It'll be perfect. Sounds good. Yeah. Go ahead and narrate it. All right. Um, you know, summoning arcane magics or whatever. Um, a giant puddle of milk appears in uh, the snow just below the creature as it begins to slowly sink in, flailing about, trying to swim in the delightful Aww. milk and gingerbread walks. Out. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> out of water. <laughs> and slowly the cookie dissolves into the milk and Damn! Lord. That was Lord. that was Lord. real dark. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought yeah, you were gonna like waterboard the damn thing. I didn't <laughs> thought you were gonna fucking do a terminator. This is like I Geneva Convention, of... you know. I guess I, I've convention. been meaning to make like a Geneva. Desta concerned emote. I really need to make that now. She's concerned when Mjorkin was throwing up letters. Now she needs to make one for this. I need to make her one. God. Now every All time one of our characters seen milk, we have to see it. From I was um. kind of hoping that you would like open up your pages and then like puke milk on top of it. Uh, oh, well, that would have been good, too. I was actually thinking of like, the exorcist or some shit. Like, yeah, I, I, felt like, I felt like you were going to stone uh, milk on your pages, not not a fucking full of milk be lower. That Jesus. must have been a very terrifying but But we get the Terminator scene, right? Where he like, lifts up his thumb, Yeah, we right? got the Where's Terminator like, scene. Jesus. But basically, now, every time our characters see a fucking milk, this is going to probably come into the head now. Libervola, you are now the founder of Milk Magic. You're a monster. Oh. <laughs> you know, you've You're heard of Milk monster. Magic. Libervola ah! is, you know, Milk Magic. So, Libervola do I add a base cows. level spell or something? Oh, God. <laughs> you can quart. go around. Lactose you can have that your title. <laughs> I wield yeah. Milk Magic. And, you know, you'll start with a level one milk spray here. Shoot milk at your enemy. <laughs> the first milk bender. Milk bender. <laughs> you are the milk bender. The legend has been has been filled. You are the Lactose milk bender. And, and uh, yeah. yes. he is trying to, trying to stop the lactic. <laughs> Fear my lactic acids. Oh, well, you know you can't be too boring there. Uh, yeah, it's not going into too much little... detail. It's not going into too much detail, guys. Come on. I didn't know I... milk could be so violent, though. Wait, does that mean that you could, like, bend, like, the cow udders? That's not good. It's not too bad. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. I mean, if we really delve down into biology, okay, so, it's pretty so awkward. Why not only is he I milk to my normal form. Too. That's great. Um, um, okay, just. Eat my token. 
Wait, wait. Doesn't that just count for any any females? Well, no. Of you drink milk like any mammal females that system. give milk. Okay, uh, okay, if okay, you, like, have okay. Ice cream, you, can, you can bend that in your stomach. This is getting a little uh, out of well, hand. What happens yeah, next? To yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Let's just move on. Can we, yeah, can we go? Yeah, let, let, let's just move on. When Lebo rolls around, you can't tell if you're further. lactose intolerant or if he's just bending it. <laughs> All that applies to water bending too. It never really gets developed. So. Well, blood bending suggests, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Anyway, I think we're focusing on milk in the abstract, so we'll we'll just do that. What happens next, DM? What happens next? After you guys are um, mesmerized by his mesmerized by the milk oh. over lactic acid. Mesmerized. Yeah, we got the C basically a Terminator scene with a cookie and and milk. Um, does anyone need to roll a mind check to see if they're traumatized by this or not? Yes. I've already got a quirk. I've already seen hard shit. So yeah, this is just a normal day here at the office. I mean, oh, no, I it's kind of the same for Desto, so... I really, yeah, I've also already hard. have that. Okay, so um, everyone feels that their character is comp is alright. I mean, okay. it's just milk and a cookie. If it was an actual person... <laughs> and well, lava or something. Good and thing. then the cookie monsters aren't you people. Didn't at, you did not check to see if it was a sentient creature. Just saying. Uh, by the way, <laughs> these, these creatures definitely we have can't... souls because they were casting spells. And you have to have souls to do that. So, you monster. Well, a gingerbread and, well, a gingerbread and mage's head. And not, we don't know Ginger about gingerbread souls. Monsters. But gingers don't these have souls. These were the children we were supposed what to save. What are you talking about? Monster. They could have been spirits. Oh yeah. In gingerbread monster bodies. Yep. Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> okay, so Yeah, let's get out of here before more before more um traumatizing happen. Okay. Soon. Soon. So how do you want to enter the cave? Walking through the front door. Through the door. Oh, the, the gingerbread monster three falls aside, and you see the entrance to the cave. What do you do? Oh, sorry, he didn't disappear. He just went inside. <laughs> yeah, he slumped down. We walked no, into it, the. No, center. I mean the furry guy. He did. He he scurried back into the cave. Right where he belongs. Um. Okay, let's go talk to him. Everyone able to just go inside? I assume so. <laughs> I suppose. Yes, I'm, first going to, I'm going to acquire a sample of Gingerbread Man. Oh my god. I'm going to acquire many samples of Gingerbread Man, and I'm going to eat them. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, you're probably going to eat them, right? <laughs> cool. Cool. I mean, it's, it, it, it's a race of gingerbread. Are you just gathering samples or are you investigating it? Yeah, I'm going to further investigate as well. I want to know more about the nature of these things and how they're created. I'm rather curious. Okay. Are you going by culinarily or arcane like? <laughs> what are you doing? I think we're going to go with arcane. Uh, unfortunately, books, you know, be, even though they can eat, just, just don't uh, have the same kind of appreciation of the culinary, for the culinary arts. Okay. Roll me a mind, and if you have any, like, arcane lore. Well, let's double check here. Okay, cool. You are able to determine that these were... Spirit somehow bound to ginger bread. And huh. That's how the care. That's how, that's how the creatures were um, walking about. It's like a gingerbread golem. Okay. Oh, well, that makes sense. 
Definitely have to ask the uh, Grinch how they did it. Oh my god, did he forge them from children's spirits? <laughs> wow, you go dark fast. Then no, they've been no, freed, is, if that's the case. This is Dragon Age. Just go, yeah, this is Dragon Age uh, origin stuff. This is how the dwarf golems were made. Well, this is true. Do you want to investigate I'm, what kind of spirits spirit would Is spirit magic? Is it? You can do a spirit magic. I have no idea. <laughs> you can tell that it definitely involves some kind of spirits, whether or not they were spirits from the Fade or spirits from... Um, or spirits from actual create human or changelings or other creatures. My friend's asking me to go, so I think I might. You have to go? I think so. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, right. it was fun playing with you, Tana. Sure, we got. She's still here on roll 20. Oh, she DC from Discord. She's gone from Discord. Okay, then. Yep. Um, Do you guys want to go into the final battle or wait oh, till we can next walk week? In. We can walk in and do the final battle next week. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, we can just go ahead and like, yeah. place ourselves and, you know. Sweet. Go inside Plus... the case. Oh, let me refresh. Oh. There's so many things on here. Ooh, shiny. Oh, look, there's a, there's a chest, and I, of course, it, of course it's going to be green. Oh. So, uh, yeah, we defeated your creatures. Do we get the kids now? Just one second. <laughs> Where are the kids? And I refreshed before I placed you guys on the kids. map. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're over there. Okay. I'm moving you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I, I wasn't sure. I hear you said to have stolen kids, but we've only seen we only see one here. Mm. Okay. And you find yourself inside the Kratmus's cave. There's a strange glowing circle on the floor. Cool. Little Sally Hala is in the corner um, next to a fire. And it's actually festively decorated and for someone that supposedly hates Christmas. I mean, sorry for <clears throat> warm, hearts warming. I, I, like, I like the whole dead deer decoration right there. <laughs> Those are the best. Those are the best. It's the antlers that really do the place justice. <laughs> it's the it's the antlers on the dead deer that really go in the lighting of the place. I like the scarecrows. I feel like we are can well, really Desto would kind of I look mean, at that and be like that's distasteful. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Uh, because he left yeah. the blood around it. He should have yeah. cleaned it up. That's the distasteful part. <coughs> oh, okay, so this <coughs> distasteful part about the whole deer thing is kids have been thinking. Okay. Blood. And we will leave our party here. We'll find out next week what happens inside Kratmus's cave. Excellent. Dun dun dun. Stay Don't. tuned next week. Everybody sits down and has a lovely tea party. Bye. <laughs> oh, Maybe. my lovely tea party. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. he turns out to be one of the kindest men in the entire world. <laughs> it's just that we were being complete dicks. <laughs>